You need to arise. All right, Israel. Bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Arise, Israel. All right. I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rechak Wadash. Double honor to my apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well and show us his truth. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out here pushing truth and sincerity. All right. The water for what you do. We love you. We appreciate you. All right. I'm watching this video here. It's from GMS Dedication. Um, I don't know if it was a re upload from them. But this will be a re-upload from myself. All right. Um, basically, you know, w watching this video, there's a couple of scriptures that are in here. It shows about how you so-called blacks have um have had it here in uh in America. All right. Uh, a lot of you so-called blacks don't believe you've been oppressed here. All right. And just because these things happened in the past, which it wasn't that long ago, man. It was these are the, all these things are coming from the 1900s. All right. I was born in 1990, meaning what a few decades before me. This, these things are literally happening. All right. You know, this video cameras um, still still, uh, you know, for documentation. That's how you know this thing. This thing wasn't that far off. All right. Y'all think that just because this thing didn't happen while you were alive, that those people are having they're not still around or they haven't had children and, and grandchildren and, and, and descendants that think just like them. You know what I mean? Like you people have been oppressed. You you don't think that they they just kind of change the way of that they oppress you. Maybe they won't physically put their hands on you as much as they used to because they still kill you in the streets by the by the police force. All right, maybe niggas getting found uh, hung in different parts of communities and stuff like that. You're still being killed to this day. You know, you just don't see it because you weren't around when the, when the, when the, when the mass murdering was mass murdering was going on. You know, but but. Those times led up to this to this time now because when we were trying to build, all right, trying to build ourselves back up from after slavery, they kept they kept putting uh, stumbling blocks. They kept they would they would yo they would literally murder us for trying to to to, to build ourselves back up and become a, a nation of people who aren't a bunch of thugs and and gang members. You know what I'm saying? All right, because that's what we are now. Our people are mainly just drug dealers, gang members, uh, pill poppers, uh, ho uh fucking homosexuals and 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 uh prostitutes all right and strippers and shit you know we're, we're the we're nation not desired you know what i mean because why they they destroyed us man they destroyed us man all right even when we try to come back and we had prosperous communities man they destroyed us and they're like no you ain't gonna do that fuck that fuck all this prosperous uh community bullshit we're gonna give you uh uh guns drugs and and, and you know uh, gang violence, you know, we're gonna put that in your neighborhoods. We want, we want, we want you guys doing that to yourselves. You know, they took away all the good and gave us all the bad. So without further ado, I'm gonna play the video now. You'll see, um, and I'll well, so like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm gonna read one scripture because this one scripture here didn't pop up in this video. And as you read the the um the subtitles, the uh the sorry the subliminals, um, or the the sub uh, sublines. All right. Um, as you read those, your this the scripture should come to your mind. All right. This is Revelation chapter uh, twelve, um, and verse ten. It says, "And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and in the, the kingdom of our power, and the power of His Christ of His Christ, which is Mashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them." Before our God day and night. All right. Because they, they accuse us. Why? They accuse us of, of many things. All right. And things that they accused of led to, led to uh, mass death. And we're going to um, show it. In this and they're going to show it in the video. So, uh, you know, let's watch the video. terms of the number of African-American towns that were established, some suggest upwards of 50 African-American towns. Between 1924 and 1928, Reverend S.S. Jones was going around documenting this sort of self-determined, vibrant African-American communities. You see the African-American educators, doctors, lawyers, landowners, oil barons, and I think that's what's so remarkable about this footage. 
think that individuals how many years out of slavery are now owning oil wells that are producing 2,000 barrels a day? Is that not the ultimate American dream? Is that not the ultimate American story? It flies in the face of what I think some people consider part of African American history and culture. And I think that that was one of the things that Oklahoma and what S.S. Jones is really kind of showing is that that African American history and culture is not a monolith. And in a way, it became kind of like a marketing tool to encourage individuals to migrate, to move there, that this is a place where you can live, you can thrive and peacefully reside. There were still palpable racial tensions. There are lynchings, there's Jim Crow segregation, there's all of these things, and you still have an African-American community or many communities that really speak to the fortitude and resilience of Black people in this country. the end of it man arrive ye micah 2 10 arrive ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted 
it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. All right. So even if you get something good, man, you know, you receive a blessing from the most high, you know, ultimately <laughs> this ain't your rest. So, you know, it's going to become of naught anyways. Just like look at all those thriving communities we had, man. All right. Jacob, Jake had fucking oil barons. All right. They had, uh, you know, abundance of churches, which, you know, they probably was Christianity anyway. So, it was, you know, that's good. That's good that, that that goes down. Right. But, um, you know, they had, uh, what else to say? They had um, basically, you know, farms, everything that you need to, uh, you know, grow economically, man, you know, to prosper and become. They said that Jake was becoming wealthy. Like we we established a system to, to to learn how to become wealthy, you know. Like, could you imagine if if those places would have kept going, the so called black man and women and and the rest of the tribes they wouldn't we wouldn't be in that situation if if we had those um those farms and uh, hospitals and schools and you know all these you know different uh prosperous pro prosperous uh um means of of resources you know how we had our own resources you know we were family oriented you know what i mean we had military you know what i mean so you know it was very small but it was a start we just got out of slavery and and they used these accusations to destroy these places man and once once they did that they 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 subjugated they subjugated us to the ghettos right they put us in ghettos cuz cuz you can see it says it says what that many of those people fled those towns because they couldn't live them no more. No more. They were being hunted, literally, literally and physically hunted. All right. And the ultimate uh, thing, well, what happened to them is death. If they were to be caught, so they fled. And what, they, what happened? They went to the worst parts of the uh, of the country, where there weren't any resources. All right. They couldn't build communities. You know, they it was you know, and as time goes on. You know, you, you learn to fear the so-called white man. You know, you, you can't, there's nothing you can do. Here you are, you got dragged from another country up into to another country. You don't know anybody. You know what I'm saying? Or you got, you know, your, your kids were taken from you. Your your husband is taken from you as a woman. Your man, your man, your wife was taken from you. Your kids and your cousins and your uncles and all, you know, that, 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 that uh, unity. That unity shit was gone. We didn't have that. So when you, you know, when you flee... It's like you by yourself, you know, even the niggas that's with you, you don't really know them like that. And you ended up, you end up and, you know, looking for what help from the government, you know? And it says, and the scriptures say, woe unto you, woe to you that, that, uh, go to down to Egypt for help. Meaning what the house of bondage is what Egypt is. So we go into the government for, for help and look at, look what they did. They destroyed us. They, yeah, they gave you a uh, projects where you can live for free. Yeah. They gave you, um, um, some, some types of, you know, um, food stamps and stuff like that, all that stuff you can live for free. I mean, you can do it for free for, right. You can get for free, but it was, uh, it, but it destroys you. The projects was cause they pushed, uh, what into your projects? They pushed drugs into your projects. They show you out in all their movies, the CIA was who put the guns and the drugs into the communities. What else do they put into your projects? Um, you know, a fucking liquor store on every block. Uh, the GMO foods that destroy your body. The food stamps only uh, allow you to get food that was um, bad for your health. You know, they, they've been known for doing that. They did that to you when you were slaves. They gave you the uh, pork. You don't supposed to eat pork. They gave you that shit. You know, and slop and shit like that. They don't care about you. Woe to them that go into, down to Egypt to look for help. Woe means death and destruction, man. Weeping and mourning. That's what woe means. So one more time, one more time, because I know you guys read the sub, the um sub um sublines, you know, the subtext, you know. So this is um Revelations twelve and ten. It says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation, and and strength, and the kingdom of our power, all right, the kingdom of our God, man, and the power of His Christ, all right. Of his Mashiach, his son, Yahweh Shai. That power is coming, man. And it says, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down. All right, who's the accuser of, of, of our brethren? So-called white man. Oh, look at all those accusations that got uh, towns destroyed. 
All right. Wait, it says which accused them before our God day and night. They 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 accuse you know Jake for doing everything for so called whistling at a, a, a white woman or whistling at a so called white woman, and that's why Emmett Till was put to death. All right. All these different mur look at they did the so called white man is the, is the is the ultimate terrorist man. You got a nerve to call Muslim terrorists, and you're and you're the terrorists. It said because they were envy of our success that they 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 accused us of raping women and and <laughs> and killing the women. You know here you here you are you got Jake so called blacks Native Americans and Latino men and women they despise hitting women you know what I'm saying they they hate that shit but yet oh we were going out there just raping and hitting and 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 um you know causing all types of harm to to women. You ask any so-called black, uh, Native American, or Latino men and women, they're, they're usually, you know, very gentle when it comes to women, man. That's how our people are. You know, that's how we were taught because we were all taught from our mothers, man. You know, never had a woman, never do that. You know what I'm saying? They always respect women, even though women going off. Sometimes they deserve to get slapped up, you know. But, you know, if they do something that, you know, causes harm to you, which they do a lot. And they don't deserve the respect that they think they, they do. They don't. They don't. These women do all types of wicked, evil, vile things, man. And you're supposed to uh, worship these women? But that's how our men are. Our men are like that. So you think our men were just going to... You think we got out... Of, here we are getting out of slavery. We know the white man put his foot up our asses. And we're just going around just fucking shit up. You know, just being degenerates. That's not how we were, man. They show you that we were being prosperous. We were being uh, kind to one another, you know, actually trading back and forth. And, 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 and um, you know, so-called white man, um, well, really, it was probably like, you know, our own people, confusion of face, like Italians and Irishmen, you know, all um, mainly, you know. But, you know, we, you know, shit, even the so-called white man was, was uh, getting money from us. You know what I'm saying? You know, by, by, by uh, trading with us and, you know, trading different resources and things like that. But the, the envy, the the envy to them in their heart, man, it, it burned more than than you know just being at peace with us, and allowing this is supposed to be America, the home of the free, right? Uh, a place that's supposed to allow you to uh, to prosper, right? For all equality to pro prosper, and instead of just prospering with us, what do they do? <laughs> they accuse us. That's why the scriptures say the accuser of their brother, and and ultimately they killed us, man. That's how much they hate you, so-called black people, man. They don't want to, they don't, because, because let's say that, you know, we would have had those, all those farms, hospitals, schools, churches, you know, not, you know, and I'm not saying that that's where it's supposed to be because, you know, ultimately we're waiting for the kingdom of heaven. That's what we really want. But let's just say that stuff happened and the, and the so-called white man would, would just let it happen and, you know, so-called black people and then we were, we were getting along. America might have been, you know, decent. It might have been great. But because the, they're so fucking wicked and the scriptures tell you to never trust thine enemy because so is iron rusteth, so does his wickedness, meaning it's inevitable for him to be uh, righteous. All right. Hebrews uh, 12 and 16 said, lest there be any fornicator or profane person such as Esau. All right. Profane meaning outside the temple, meaning he can't be righteous. It is impossible. I believe it's uh, I, uh, was it Isaiah 48 and 22, I believe. Let me get that real quick. It says what, man? Hold on. Isaiah. Forty-eight. I believe it's forty-eight. Verse twenty-two, and it says, "There is no peace," said the Lord, "unto the wicked, because there is no peace for them. They don't want peace with us because they're wicked." All right, they're 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 profane. They're outside the temple, meaning they're they're not righteous. So they're not gonna wanna. Uh, they don't want peace on earth. You people always talk about oh, well, just forget about the past and move on. You know, I, I remember talking to this, this chick on Facebook. She had a Facebook post, and she she said, oh, I'm just gonna leave this here, and as as if it was some type of uh, it made some type of good point. And then, but what it said was um, there was um somebody who said uh, it was a Jake. A Jake woman, Salakia, oh, I spilled my coffee. There was a Jake woman, man, on Facebook, you know, she made a post. And um, it said, 
they all you guys tell us to forget 9-11. Uh not to forget 9-11, but you want us to forget our uh slavery. And it was a nigga, um, a cracker, an Edomite, who who said, Yeah, that's right. You know, um, you were never a slave. And um, you know, so he made another he said something else. So he was like, So yeah, get over it. Because you were never a slave. Meaning, you know, slavery's over, you weren't there. So what are you worried about it for? You know, as if black so-called black people aren't still a, a, um, oppressed and so-called white man hasn't uh, prospered and gained off of the things that happened back then to this very day. You know what I mean? So she's like, I'm just going to leave this right here as a post. Yeah, man, I jumped on that shit, man. I got pissed, man. I'm tired of seeing that shit, man. I can't wait till the Heavenly Father uh, really crack some clouds and, and, and Yahweh Shai and the angels come down here and fuck these people up. You know? And I'm talking to her, and I'm like, yo, man, like, okay, so, because I, you know, if you if you try to look at it on their point of view, you, you can say, you know, you, well, all right, we wasn't there, right? But we still feel the, the we still feel the, um, the, the results of the things our forefathers went through. I said, for example, I got a last name like a so-called white man, which is true. I got one of the most vile so-called so white man names that you could possibly have, all right? And I said, how the fuck do you think that I got that name? How do you think I got that name? We literally live with the results and the things that happened in the past. All right. And then, then when I brought up all the uh, the video that you just seen now, I brought up all those things. I'm like, OK, what about the Jim Crow laws? What about the uh, Black Wall Street? What about all these things? Y'all literally killed us when we tried to have these things. She talked about, well, but whatever, you know, just move on, you know, because that's how we, you know, we grow as a people. They always say that shit. Y'all always talking about growing as a people. After y'all done fucked us up. Because y'all fucked us up, now we got to grow as a people. All right, we fucked y'all up. All right, enough where you can't come back. There's no, it's like if you beat a nigga down and you break all his toes, you break all both his feet, you break, you break his legs, his knees, his shins, you break all that shit and then try to tell a nigga, all right, come on, walk, man. You know, keep up with us, man. Come on, man. Come on. We you gotta win, we gotta help win the race, man. Let's go. Oh, but you broke my legs. I don't worry about that, man. Come on. What are you worried about that for? You worried about I broke your legs? So come on, man. Don't worry about that, bro. Come on, man. Catch up to us, man. You, you know, we're going to lose the race because of you. You know, the accuser of thy brother, man. You, you, you fuck somebody up so, so much and then you tell them to, to catch up, play catch up and stop, stop being gangsters and stop being drug dealers and shit. Like, nigga, we don't got no other choice, you know, but Hosea 4 and 6 says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We don't know that we, we got fucked up. We got fucked up so bad. That we even said, oh well, shit, it's not even the so-called white man's fault anymore. That's how bad we got fucked up. Now it's our own fault. That's what we say. Which ultimately is because we we went off and broke the law, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly Father. That's why he's uh he is um punishing us. But but through the through these motherfuckers, all right, he, he punished us through them, all right. So they they have kept us down for all this time and 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 have accused us of things and got us killed. And 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 won't admit to it. It won't help out. It won't help us get back, which we don't want that. I don't want no damn help from them, you know. But they, but even if it's like you're speaking about that mind frame, they they not helping us out, you know. They they help you out by what? Giving you uh woe to them that going down to each other for help. Meaning they give you uh food stamps, but they give you the trash. The food stamps uh only gets the trash food. You know what I'm saying, which makes you sick. All right, they give you projects and then they throw drugs and uh and guns into your projects. All right. They might give you a record deal, but tell you you can only rap about uh, selling and doing um, mollies and Percocet. All right? Or selling drugs to your people. You know what I'm saying? Not unifying your people. No, you can't rap about that, little nigga. Don't do that. Or you're going to lose your contract. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't tell us to, to, to forget about the past. And, and because the past le led to this, this present, man. All right, you can't, if you, you can't, a tree grows, but there's roots underneath the ground that you don't see. Those roots is what made that tree grow into what it is that uh, in the present moment. We are the trees and we have the roots and the roots from us are, are slavery and, and genocide. How the fuck do you expect us to grow from that by just forgetting and moving on? Because when we forget and move on, we're like, oh, you know what? You're right. Forget and move on. We, and we try to go get a nice job and shit. Oh, denied. They're not going to tell you it's because of the color of your skin, but it's because of the color of your skin. 
going for a business loan. Up oh, denied. No, no, no. It's not because of the color of your skin. No, of course not. Now, I'm not assuming that it's because you're racist, but there's a system put in place that if a so-called black man comes in, make sure you make it very difficult for, for that man to get what it is that he wants. All right. Find all the loopholes, find all the little cracks and in, in whatever it is. Don't don't give this nigga an inch, you know, only let a few niggas go. Because that's what the Willie Lynch letter said. Right. I will show you how to keep the majority of them down. Only a few will escape. You know, if only a few would come out to be, uh, what, fucking NBA or NFL players or some shit like that, which that's, you know, just nothing but entertainment for the so-called white man. It's not like, you know, giving us any really type of value in this world, you know, they get a few million dollars and niggas go broke after that, you know, except for the ones that are really, really prosperous. But you trying to tell me what all I'm subjected to is becoming a fucking uh, uh, pro athlete. I can't become nothing more in this kingdom of yours. Only just to entertain you. Or I got to become a rapper and I, then I can't rap about what I want. That The reason why I love rapping, I got to rap about what you want. So he said only a few people will get, will get through, but we'll keep the majority of them down. All right, You might have one or two black judges, but they got to judge according to, to what? So-called white man standards. Meaning if you see a black kid, young man coming to this uh, fa uh, facility, you better uh, fucking hang him by his, by his neck. You know? Maybe a couple uh, black politicians sprinkled in here and there. And then what will happen? They they have to uh, deceive their people. <laughs> you know, look at Detroit. Look what Detroit became of. Because why? So-called black politicians and, and um, uh, police chiefs, sheriffs and all that, deputies and all that crazy shit. You know, because so-called white man has influenced them to, to, to destroy uh, places like Detroit. Detroit is destroyed now, man. And they had all, the whole... All the all, all the whole leaders of their uh of that of that um city was all black people, but because the so-called white man told them what to do, that place is destroyed. Now they can point fingers at the so-called look another accuser and another 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 accusation. Look, we put y'all in power. Look at Detroit now. Like nigga, I'll follow in your lead. You told me to fucking do to put this law in place, and you are um slacker. You told me to um put this decree in in, in place, and, and and you know. Make this a thing right here, you know, where, you know, taxes, you know, go up even higher or, you know, they, you know, you told me to do that. I was following what you told your, 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 uh, your instructions. Cause ain't no politician, whether it's black or white or whatever, is doing his own thing, man. Because these people or these leaders are supposed to be people who, who, who want to see their community prosper. So how come the, the communities aren't prospering? It's not just bad people getting in office. No, the fucking they, they start off with a mission and then they got to do something completely opposite because the people above them tell them to do so. And that's the damn truth. All right. You know, these leaders, these so-called leaders are, are told to do something entirely different. That's why it says, um, what is it? Let me get Jeremiah. All right. And I'm going to close it out. Chapter 14, verse 2, it says, Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. Talking about the leaders. The gates are the leaders. They languish. All right? If they're put in power, trust me, they're not going to uh, uh, be put in power to do any good. All right? And you might have one or two good, you know, so-called good, so-called black um, uh, politicians or something that, that's that's trying to uh, do better for the community. But ultimately, it's going to come into naught, man. That's why our people have been oppressed all our lives, man. All right. If you don't believe this, if you don't believe it, so what, man? The prophecies are being, but being fulfilled, man. The prophecies are being fulfilled. All right. GMS, my apostles and elders, man, they have spoken about this thing for for years, and it's actually happening right before your eyes. It's like it right before your eyes. So if you don't believe what I'm saying, <laughs> man, woe to you. All right. With that, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to my apostles, the elders of great millstone who rule well. And peace and salutation to the whole elect out here pushing this truth and sincerity. To what I do, we love you. And shalom.